Welcome to Lavelle's Coloring. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the last product the Arteza company kindly sent me to review, which is the 60 count Everblend markers. So for me, the way I use markers in coloring books is to use them as a base and then shading over it with colored pencils. I always have just used markers on either Amazon Create Space coloring books, any one-sided um, or any books that are one-sided and um, illustrations I copied onto cardstock. I have not really delved into blending with markers, uh, mostly because I don't feel that I am in that point in my coloring adventure. And ever since I started coloring, I've always been a colored pencil kind of girl. <laughs> any other mediums I get and use in coloring pages are pretty much just used as backgrounds or as a base. So. You know, I do want to let you know that when I test these markers, I will try to do some blending, but that is not my main use for these markers. And, you know, just thinking, will I ever try coloring a whole page using just markers or, and at the same time, am I going to try blending? I do hope. I do hope sometime in the future I will want to jump in and try it and incorporate it into my colorings but for now I am happy with the way I use markers in my coloring books. Um, I mean the only other alcohol markers I do have besides these are my Lemeshim markers which is the 168 set and the Touch New 16 count skin tone markers and I do use them a lot. I use them a lot on my... Um, uh, like create space coloring books. So I will again be swatching in both my color chart book and the cardstock. Go ahead and put this side. The reason I am making two color charts is that a lot of my coloring books that I use well, where I use water-based and alcohol markers are printed on Amazon Create Space paper, which my color chart book is printed in. Other books that are one-sided are cardstock, are kind of like cardstock, which could be about the same weight as this one, which is the Nina 65-pound cardstock, or it could be heavier or thicker. So, um, or I could print it out print out a illustration on these cardstocks that I do have so for me I see a difference between the colors of the same marker when I color in both the Amazon paper and the cardstock especially with skin tone so that is mainly the reason um, why I am swatching on both I just like the colors easily accessible so that I'm not always checking the colors and I can just pick and dive in and color So for the swatching, I am going to go through all 60 colors on this chart book and then off screen I will swatch the cardstock and then I'll be right back. So with alcohol markers, which the Everblends are, they will bleed through. So I will always stick a either cardstock or um, a cutting mat. So I already wrote all the names down plus the number and I'm just going to fill in each of these um, empty blocks. So I'll start off with the peach and I'm just going to use the point and end. We'll want to go, go ahead and show you how they look like. So they are triangular kind of body and oops, see the name where they have the number which peach is A9425 and on one end you have the chisel tip and then the other you have the fine tip so I'll show you the chisel tip I like how the chisel is really thick 
big, has a nice point to it. And then the other end is the fine tip. And I like how the covers are so, so easy to um, take out. So I'll start with the peach. I'm not going to do the blender because you know, it's just a blender, there's no color. So with alcohol markers, what I like about using them on create space paper is that they won't leave a streak but they do bleed over or they spread as you color so I think that's the thing with alcohol marker if they're really juicy and you press down too much on the uh, create space paper it will start to spread so go ahead and get the next one which is pale peach I'm just going to, I don't know, I think I should just trace it faster. There we go. And I'm wondering what other skin colors they have in this. Um, one of the reasons why I like the shape of this is if you look at it like this, where it's like angled, when you slide it into the case, as long as you have this pointed and down <laughs> towards the um, case, it's easily pushed in. Yeah, I just like that. <laughs> if you, It won't work if you go this way. So it has to be where the pointed side is what's going in first. So I'll go with the next color, which is Glacier Blue. I'll try not to block. But I'm swatching. I like those pale colors. I'm really tempted to see what the 20, 120 set looks like. So this is fog gray. Next one is Koala Gray. The thing with um, Arteza, with their products, I love the names that they come up with for the colors. This one is Koala Gray. The so next one is Sage Green. I don't know why the Sage Green, why is it called Sage Green? Does it look, oh, it looks, I can't stay within the lines. <laughs> you can see, yeah, it does bleed right through. So the next one is chocolate brown, dark chocolate brown. There. Uh, depending on how much time I have after I watch this I may add um, myself coloring a page it may be a speed through coloring it may not I'm not sure I want to see how long this takes me to swatch I mean these blocks are small so I'm hoping that it'll go by fast it'll just be 60 60 colors so this is burgundy just trying to I really like the point of this I'm sure other alcohol markers are disappointed I'm not sure I have to check probably after I do this swatch I'll compare it to the Le Miche markers I have so the next color is wine red hand is shaky right there okay like that color next color is sienna brown 
trying to see if I can find other colors I can use as a skin tone. Next color is hazelnut brown. Right there. Next one is the jasmine yellow. So um, with the twine markers, I did sort it, sort the colors. With this one, I left it as it is. And hopefully, I mean, it looks like it's already um, in order. So I'm not going to try to <laughs> redo it again. So this one is Arctic Blue. pretty color. Next one will be sky blue. And doesn't it's not really that close to the cap color, is it? Let me go to the next one. Next one is turquoise. Ah, cannot. Right there. It's a nice color. You know what? This is probably going <laughs> to take me a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and stop with this one. I will continue this off screen. I'm going to come and try it on the uh, cardstock. So I will start off again. I'm going to leave the blender um, blank. Start off with the peach and I'm going to use the chisel tip. So with the cardstock, I'm going to test the chisel tip just to make sure uh, the markers are working. So you can see it bleeds through. So with any markers or alcohol markers, I would just assume that they do bleed. Through. I am going to test on um, the 150 pound cans and illustration pad that I bought from, from Hobby Lobby for clearance and I want to see if these markers would <laughs> bleed through it because um, for, for that illustration pad it says that there will be no bleeding or feathering so I just want to see if it was true. So anyways I'm going to start with the pale peach so I want the chisel tip. Next one is the Glacier Blue with here. It looks like it's streaking on the uh, cardstock. I don't know. Maybe it might just because I'm going through it like one stroke for this one and I did two on this one. So I'm going to do cloudy gray, which here's the, let's see.
Let me see if I used a fine tip to color it. I don't, it's a lot of space to color, but here's fog gray. Oops, that's the chisel. That's a lot of space to color. <laughs> that one you can really see the streaks on it. Okay, let me go over it again with the So I am guessing that if you use car stock, so this is only the 65 pound one and if you can see a little bit of the streaks already um, just going over it twice would probably be best to make it even coverage but if you're coloring over with pencils I I don't think the streaks would matter so next I'm coming in with the koala gray so these alcohol markers like other alcohol markers they do have a strong scent So if you're sensitive about the strong odors, uh, yeah. Well, for me, when I am sensitive with strong odors, especially like Gamsol, uh, when I finally tried Gamsol, even though it says odorless, for some reason I can still smell it. So it's just having making sure your room is ventilated like a window open or a fan going so next one is dark chocolate brown Just one more and then I just want to compare it really quick to the uh, color chart. This is black. Oops, I covered the number a little bit. But I like how the black is very juicy there. <laughs> so uh, I'm always trying to align it so I can just slip it in really easily. So let me go ahead and so it's just slightly darker, but with um, uh, with Create Space paper, if you're quick enough you won't see any streaking with the cardstock you won't see streaking if you go over it um, more than once so you know, like for the peach over here I went over it twice on this end but just once towards the rest of it all of these I went over twice this one I tried to use just a fine tip first but you can see even though I went over it with the chisel tip you can see little marks of where these streaks are and they do bleed through so I'll be right back and have this done in a moment so here we are with the finished swatches and as you can see it is very vibrant on both the create space paper and the cardstock they do bleed through the cardstock as you can see and especially on the create space paper so um i would just assume that any alcohol markers will bleed through unless you get paper that is specifically 
for markers um, but like I said earlier I tend to only use alcohol markers like these on coloring books that are one-sided so that I won't have to worry about ruining an image on the other side so before I test blending with these Everblend markers, I wanted to compare um, my Lemache marker and my Touch New marker with the Arteza Everblend art markers. So with the Lemache and the Touch New, uh, they have the same barrel. They're, um, the names and the numbers of the colors of each of the colors are similar for both sets. They each have a fine point and the um, broad chisel tip. With the Arteza Everblend Art Marker, it comes in like a triangular shape barrel. The name right over here comes with also with a chisel tip and a fine tip. But let's go, since the Touch and the Lemon Shade are pretty much the same, I'm just going to show one of them. The fine tip of the Arteza. and the fine tip on the Lemache. You can see that Arteza is a little bit longer and finer. Like, put that back. And then for the chisel tip, let's see. You can see the Arteza one is a lot broader but about the same length they're both sharp I do want to say that um, as I was watching I was looking out for colors I would use for a skin I wanted to see what the 60 set um, comes uh, comes with for skin colors and I only found for me what I would use for skin uh, especially for coloring on the create space the colors I would use are pale peach and jasmine yellow I wouldn't even use peach because to me it's just too peach <laughs> it's too dark of a color even with just one swipe um, and any other tones I don't see I do like that they have a little of everything like they have enough grays browns greens blues oranges I have a couple of oranges well they have like one two three four four oranges reds pinks and purples they only come with two neons, which is the neon yellow and the neon pink. Though the neon pink looks a lot more orangey to me. It could be on the paper. Let me see on this one. Neon pink really doesn't look neon. I think the only one between the neon yellow and neon pink, the neon yellow actually does look neon. Um, the hot pink for me, th this color does not look like hot pink. Let me look. Like even here, I think these two colors should be swish. I think this is a lot more hot pink and this would be fuchsia for me. Yeah, so. So I'll go ahead and we'll start just trying to blend a couple colors, three colors um, with the Nina bright white. I'll move these stuff out. Okay, so this is the paper I used for the real brush pens and the twine markers. The colors I will use to blend will be the hot pink fuchsia and blush pink. Just that in a row. I don't know, blush pink or bubble bath. I'll just do blush pink. So go ahead and pull those out. So hot fuchsia and 
flesh pink. So I'll go ahead and pull off the cap. Start with the hot pink. And then the fuchsia. Check. And then the blush pink. if I'm blending it correctly. Let me go try it again. So again I'll start with the hot pink, then the fuchsia, and then the blush pink. So it does blend on the 65 and it does bleed through. So I'll go on to the next one which is the card, uh, Spring Hill cardstock. This is the 110 pound, 199 GSM. Just and I'll do the same. We'll start out with the hot pink. And then the fuchsia. And then the flesh pink. Blends really nicely with the Spring Hill cardstock. And with the last one in my last haul, I picked up this Canson illustration. I don't know if you can see it. Um, which is 150 pound, 250 GSM, comes with 20 sheets. I got it at Hobby Lobby for $374. Norm, uh, it was normally $14.99. And it says right over here, smooth surface, erases easily or erases cleanly. Heavyweight paper for pencil, ink, and marker, no bleeding or feathering. So I printed out <laughs> um, this illustration from CL Aldridge from one of her books, which is this one. Flowers and Dreams, a coloring book. Oh, not coloring. Coloring book, beautiful. A oh, beautiful botanical symmetry. So I cut it. I cut this um, illustration paper down to size so I can print it through my printer. And I wanted to go ahead and try coloring in here and see if it blends and if it leaks right through. This is just like my introduction to blending so you're all seeing it with me right now as I try this and I'll go ahead and pick up the same colors again which is hot pink hot pink fuchsia and then blush pink so I think I'll do it on this one hopefully it'll go okay And 
that the blush pink. So yeah, I like how that looks. I mean, I think I could probably, probably with practice, um, my blending with the pens would be a lot better. So with blending, I, I guess it would depend on your paper. You have marker paper, the blend that blending will work. But you know, if you just want to use it for like what I was using markers for, which is just for uh, laying down the base of the base of the uh, coloring and then go over it with colored pencils so either way I mean if you're the kind of person who love markers who love blending and you have your own supply of um, marker paper let me go see if it blend through, bleed it through. see it does bleed through especially if I I'm layering it. Let me go see if um put this away. And I want to see if it's just one layer how it looks and will it streak. Um let me see. Let's go and go teal. So teal is right. Here. I'm just gonna do these these things, just go in and collect them. shadowing I think it would bleed through if I keep going over it or if I layer if I'm layering it with other colors but yeah I may finish this page later on at another time um, and just play around using this kind of paper to practice blending with markers but you know that's not my priority I, it's fun to play with and just you know to lay down color um, but I also want to show you guys how uh, it would look in a coloring book that I know a lot of us have which is the Jade Summer coloring book and I will use these uh, Arteza art, uh, Everblend art markers coloring one of the pages so let me bring that out so I thought I would go ahead and color um, in the grayscale coloring book this is the light and dark fantasy, which is illustrated by the G Summer Company. And the page I picked out to do is this one. Let me go ahead and put these markers away so they're not everywhere. Like I said earlier, you know, like because one end is pointed, pointier, just sliding it through the um, the holes, the holders, it's easy to just slide right in. Yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and do it with this one because there's two faces. I have two different colors that I think would be great for skin tone and I wanted to try it on here.
So here is the final uh, finished coloring with just using the Arteza Everblend art markers and because it's grayscale you can see a little bit of shadows on the face, on her hair but uh, for me even though it's grayscale I like to go over it with colored pencils so on my own time I will most likely go over it with colored pencils. I'll be using the Arteza one just to see if I can match the colors that are in the Arteza um, colored pencil set um, to match with the Everblend markers. So just my overall, um, the markers are very juicy. <laughs> So especially the chisel and the chisel tip. Um, and like I said earlier with Create Space Paper, you kind of have to be careful with the bleeding. That's why I did the light colors first. And um, because if it did bleed through, it it would be okay. And uh, like the green I went over where I went over the line, I did seep through a little bit in the face. Um, I can't see anywhere else so uh, the the thing for me is that I have to get used to I'm not because the other markers are round it's easy for me when I use especially when I use the chisel tip to pick an angle is to slowly turn it whichever way I need to angle the chisel tip to get to a certain corner but using the chisel tip with the with this kind of barrel it it became harder it, it's not so easy because of a certain angle I want the it just yeah it just sits in my hand really weird but you know it's just a preference I guess um, of how how you want your barrels but it's not going to hinder me from coloring or anything I do want to let you guys know that I am an Arteza affiliate and if you're interested in these Arteza Everblend art markers I do have links down below in the video description to both the US and UK sites I also have a coupon code which is Lavellius Coloring 1 and you will receive 10% off your purchase using that code. There are no obligations to use my code. Um, I do receive a small commission on the sales and it's at no cost to you. This is just a small way to get back to my channel. Also down below in the video description, I will leave a link to the Arteza Everblend art markers on both the US and UK Arteza sites. I do want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this review of these markers. I do want to do another Arteza video which will be the coloring coloring using the uh, twi markers and the real brush markers. I'm just trying to decide what coloring book to color in. I think I've decided but I just want to be sure. Anyways, I want to thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in my next video. Please take care, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.